Hey, what's up guys? La la. In this video, I'm gonna color grade a wedding video from start to finish. And here is what we're gonna be doing. And I'd choose you in a hundred lifetimes. I'd choose you in a hundred worlds. I'd find you. The wedding was shot on the Lumix GH5, 8-bit color depth with a standard picture style with the settings on the screen and this is what the raw footage looks like in a hundred lifetimes i choose you the first thing that i'm gonna do is to color correct the footage so that it looks as natural as possible then i'm gonna add a grading to the video to give it a creative look so if you've been watching the previous color grading tutorials that i've been doing this will be an entirely different workflow so let's get started the first thing that i'll do is to add an adjustment layer secondly i'll look at the footage and see if i need to do white balance or tone correction so i will go to the lumetri scopes and start with the waveform as you can see the picture is balanced the blacks are barely touching 0 IRE and the whites are barely touching 100 IRE which means my image was properly exposed when I was filming. Then I'm going to check for the white balance issues. So I'm going to bring the RGB parade and look at the colors to see if they are balanced. And as you can see as well, all the colors in the image are all balanced. The RGB graphs almost look the same so I don't need to do white balance or color balance. I can just get started to correct the footage so that it looks natural because it's not looking natural. And that's why I always advise filmmakers to make sure you get everything correct straight out of the camera. Make sure your white balance is set properly and make sure your image is exposed properly because that will save you a lot of time when it comes to color grading and color correction. So I will select the adjustment layer and go to the Lumetri color and I will start by adding a certain wedding loot that I often use for wedding videos. So I will go to the creative section, look and browse for the fountain loot. Here it is and click add to add it. You can see what it is already doing to our footage but I'm going to adjust it to 50%. Next, I'm going to add another adjustment layer on top. And this time I'm going to add a loop plugin from Red Giant. So I'll come to the effects window and search for looks. Here it is, add it to the adjustment layer and I'm gonna go to edit look in the effects controls. When the interface opens, you will see a lot of cinematic looks that you can add to your video. For this one, I'm gonna go for grading head starts and I'm going to select this minimal grade head start and press OK down here. Then I will reduce the strength to maybe 60%. From there, I will add a Lumetri color as well. And on the basic correction, I'm just going to increase the exposure slightly, maybe about 0.1. Then I will reduce the highlights as well, maybe to negative 21. Then the shadows as well, reduce it all the way maybe to somewhere around uh, 57, negative 57. And I'm done correcting the footage. You can see the before and after. Now it looks natural. So next I'll start adding a creative look or a color grade to our wedding video. So this time I'm going to select the clip in the timeline and I'm going to add a Lumetri color to it. The first thing that I want to adjust here is the white balance. It looks too warm for my taste. So I'm gonna to go to the basic correction and make it a little bit cooler. So I will check the temperature maybe to somewhere negative 36, then adjust the tint as well to somewhere maybe around seven. And it looks a little bit dark for my taste. So I'm gonna increase the exposure maybe to somewhere around 0.5. And then I'm going to increase the contrast as well, maybe to 27. You can see what we have done so far. At least the image looks good now. See the before and after. Next, I'm gonna go to the effects control window 
right click on that Lumetri color and rename it white balance. Looking at the image, I can see that the skin tone doesn't really look natural to me. They look a little bit of magenta. So I'm going to correct that and what I'll do is to add another instance of Lumetri color and I'm going to go to the HSL secondary section and I want to work only on the skin. So I'm going to pick the set color eyedropper and select the skin. I will use this second eyedropper to add more variations of the skin so that I can have a perfect key. Let me check this color gray box so that it's only the skin that I can see. I can also use these HSL sliders to make sure I have a proper key for the skin. Then I'm going to come to the refine and make denoise 10 as well as blur 10 just for the colors to blend with each other nicely. In the correction section, I'm going to click on these three wheels so that I can see shadows, mid-tones and highlights. What I'll do is with the mid-tones, I'm going to raise them a bit higher so that I can brighten the skin. I will also do the same on the highlights. Just raise them a bit higher so that the skin can be brightened. And then on the temperature, I'm going to increase it all the way up to maybe 32 so that I can make the skins a bit orangish. Now it looks pretty good. You can see the before and after. Now I will go to the effect control window and right click on that Lumetri color and rename it skin. The next thing is since the skin is a little bit more orangish, I'm going to try and make the background a little bit bluish so that we can have a good color contrast. So I'm going to add another instance of Lumetri color and I will go straight to the HSL secondary section. I'm going to pick the set color eyedropper and select the skin again. I will use the second eyedropper to add more variations of the skin so that I can have a perfect key. Let me check this color gray box so that it is only the skin that I can see. I can also use these HSL sliders to make sure I have a proper key for the skin. What I'll do next is select this picture icon to invert the selection so that instead of the skin, it is only the background that will be affected. Whatever that I'll adjust, the skins will not be affected, only the background. So I will come to refine, denoise I'll make it 10, blur I'll make it 10 as well, just for the colors to blend nicely. And what I'll do with the color wheels, on the shadows I'm going to push them in the bluish direction. In the mid-tones as well, push it in the bluish direction. Remember, what is being affected now is only the background, not the skin. So on the temperature, I will reduce it to the cooler side, maybe to negative 12. You can see the difference before and after. And this is already really looking good. So I'm going to right click on that Lumetri color in the effect controls and rename it background. As a final touch, I'm going to add another instance of Lumetri color. What I want to do is to reduce the temperature a little bit because I think the skins are too orange. So I'm going to reduce it maybe to negative 15. Then come to the creative section and on the adjustments, I'm going to increase the faded film maybe to 21 to take away some of those harsh contrasts. Then I'm going to increase the sharpness maybe to somewhere around 30 so that it can become crispy clear. And I want to pop up the colors a little bit. So I'm going to increase the vibrance as well, maybe to 30. And here is the before and here is the after. So this color grade is done now. I hope you have learned some few more techniques, tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next color grading video. This is it. Peace.